Welcome back. It is Friday again. Welcome to Cooking with Karen. I shared in the incubator group the other day that I'm literally going to have a seafood Christmas. No turkey, no dressing, none of that. Just some nice seafood. So today's recipe is a wonderfully delicious salmon recipe. If you're wondering a new way to make salmon, this might be it. And excuse the bonnet today, but I'm home and it's just one of those days. So we're gonna start with uh, some nice select cuts of salmon. And we're just going to sprinkle them with some basic salt and pepper. Not heavy, just a nice sprinkle. And even less salt. We're gonna set them aside. Then we're going to take some potatoes. And you can check the recipe out. It'll tell you how much of everything to get. Baby potatoes work really well because they're small. So I'm gonna put them here in the water. And I'm going to boil them for 15 minutes. You'll know when they're ready because you'll be able to stick a fork in them. They'll be tender. So that's going to get us started. So our potatoes have cooked for 15 minutes. I'm going to take them out, put them in this nice pan. You know your potatoes are ready. You stick a fork in them and they come right back out nice and tender. Now I've tried this with gold potatoes and red and for some reason the gold ones, they smash, not mash, smash better. So watch this, you're gonna take a potato masher, you're just gonna smash them down just like that. Smash, smash. All of our potatoes have now been smashed. Take a look at them. And you may get a few that smash all the way apart, but you just scoop them back together and form them in a circle with your hand. Now we're gonna take our butter melted. Put right in there with our garlic. Stir it up. Ready? So there we have butter and it's garlic. You're going to take your brush in there. You're not gonna wipe the potato, you're gonna let it kind of drip on. Because they're kind of tender now, and if you brush them, they may come apart. So you wanna just kind of let it drip on. Your garlic and your butter. I hope we don't run out here. Let's see. Oh, well, we're just gonna make it. And we just made it. There we go. So now each of your potatoes has this nice garlic and butter mixture. You're now going to take your rosemary and you're just going to sprinkle it. See there? Sprinkle it on all of them. This is absolutely delicious when it comes out. I, you're gonna write me and tell me how much you loved it. I know many of you have written me about the steamed cabbage recipe. Another one of my favorites. All right, aren't they pretty? So now we're gonna put them in the oven on 425 for 25 minutes. We'll be back to get them in a minute to join them with our salmon. Our potatoes have been in the oven for 25 minutes. Let's see what they look like. Oh my goodness, they smell wonderful. Aren't they pretty? We're gonna sit them right here on this cooling mat. Now, we're going to move our potatoes out to the sides of the pan. Because our wonderful salmon is going to join them. You're just going to move 
them right on over to the side. And that's our, our little broken front. Okay, so now we have our potatoes. Uh, somewhere in the circle. There we go. So now we have our potatoes in a nice circle. They are done. So now we're going to come over to our pan, which I hope is not too hot. We're going to cover the pan with olive oil. Okay? Now, real cooks don't measure. We don't measure stuff, but if you coat the bottom of the pan, you're good to go. We're going to take now our salmon. I'm going to sear it on both sides. Salmon cooks very like most fish, salmon cooks very quickly. That'll stop your splatter. Anyone else out there clean while they're cooking? I tend to do it. I clean up the whole time I'm cooking. So that after I finish, I don't have this mountain of dishes. Alright, so they're cooking. You want to let them cook about two minutes on each side. Watch this. They're already done. Low, 
let it simmer. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Cameraman, does it smell good? <laughs> he said yes. Now here's the fun part. We take our salmon, one piece at a time, and lay it in our glaze. Ah, oh, man, it smells so good. It smells incredible. All right, now once you get it in there, Start spooning it up on your salmon. Spoon it up there. You want to cover your salmon in this amazing glaze. Oh, I can taste it already. My family loves this, this recipe. This is one of their favorites. I wish you could smell this. It is incredible. All right. So there we have our salmon smothered in this nice glaze. We'll let it cook for a few moments. Don't worry about the bubbles. That's a good thing. Now remember those beautiful potatoes? We're gonna bring them back now. We already have our nice collard greens here, cooked with smoked turkey wings. So now we're gonna take our salmon, one piece at a time, and I'll lay it right there in the middle. Isn't that pretty? You talk about pretty food. This is pretty, but it is absolutely delicious. So glad I have my cameraman. I had to film my own cooking last week. It was a disaster. Thought I shared with shared it with you guys anyway. All right, now that that's done, you get a spoon. Now you want to remove it from the burner. So it doesn't burn because it's starting to get a little brown there. And look, we're just going to pour it over top your potatoes. Ah, I tell you, delicious. Look at that. You're going to coat your potatoes with this honey mixture, this honey glaze. Get it all. Yum. And there you have honey glazed salmon with smashed potatoes. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm trying to help us get ready for Christmas. A lot of you said you're going to do seafood. This is an amazing recipe. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit longer than most recipes I've shared, but it's an amazing, your family will, my family loves this. So take a good look. Look at those beautiful pieces of salmon and the beautiful smashed potatoes, along with some nice smoked greens. All right, let's get ready for Christmas. <laughs>